I don't know what's going on with my accent. I, um, it's kind of like British and normal. But this is because I've been watching Love Island. And now I feel like my British accent has been renewed. I haven't renewed my subscription in a while. But this is like a free trial or something. <laughs> Which, um, so I'm just gonna do this one in the British accent, I guess. See how far it takes me. So, in a bit to put out some content, I just decided to tell you guys a nice little story about how Elroy was conceived, pretty much. I was pretty much like celibate for a couple of months, maybe like six months or something. And you know, as a normal young lady, I would have some urges every now and then, and I would just ignore it, you know, I'll just sleep. I had guys talking to me, I had guys who wanted to date me, I had some guys who claimed they wanted to marry me, and but I wasn't really feeling anyone, and I, I really didn't want to be having sex, you know, so I was just ignoring everyone. I just didn't want to be in a sexual relationship with anybody at the time. So I was just chilling on my own. And then one day, I ate a cookie that I baked, by the way, for someone else. It's what I'll call space cookies. So if you know what space cookies are, it's good on you. If you do not know, I'm not going to tell you. Go Google it. I baked these cookies for someone else. How I got the ingredients. I have all the ingredients, but it's a special space ingredient. Someone, the person I was baking it for gave it to me to put in in it because I really don't know where to get any of that. I don't know where to get that. I don't. I know it's not something I buy. It's not something I believe in spending my money on. To be honest, I don't. I, it's not like I can't indulge, but I don't believe in spending my money on it at all. So I baked it, and I forgot I baked these cookie, cookies with the space ingredient, and I was you know chilling in my room, cornrowing my hair. And I got peckish, you know, and they were out on the table. You know, I left them out to get some air to cool down. And I just started eating the cookies, you know. I think I had one and a half. And I really shouldn't have eaten that much. It got me in some kind of nice, you know, frisky mood. Got me feeling iry. I was in my room, dancing around. I'm always pretty much nude in my room. So... I was at that time and I was dancing around and I was just having a good time and then I got one of those urges again this is not the kind of the kind where I would just sleep it off you know I really wanted to do something about it so I decided to like look for someone to do something about it with but I didn't want to do it with any one of these guys that have been talking to me because I just felt like if I did any did anything with any of them it's gonna turn into like a relationship kind of thing or they were gonna want more and I don't want to give anybody more. I want it to be a one time thing and I go back to being celibate and nobody has to know. <laughs> but no, it did not work out like that. No. <laughs> um, Message one guy first, um, but he was not around. He was not in the country. So then I messaged Elmer and Dad. And that one was like, you know, trooper. And he was like, okay, he will come. And then I told him to bring a condom. But he didn't bring it for some reason. But I didn't know this until after that he didn't bring one. When I told someone else this story, you know, someone, one of my friends, she was like, how could you have been so silly? Um, you should have made sure he wore, put on the condom. I was like, well, yes, that is true. And that's a lesson I've learned since then. Other times where I've been involved with someone, I've never had to make sure they wear a condom, a condom when I've asked them to. Like once I've asked you to use one, I've never had to cross check to make sure that you know the guys are is actually using one. 
and you know at some point he went off into the washroom to like do something so i just figured he was gonna put it on there yeah and because i was also kind of intoxicated not kind of i was intoxicated i was not in my right senses i wasn't really just paying attention my mind wasn't in all of that i just wanted to get what i wanted to get i didn't pay attention to that so that is a lesson number one women we need to always make sure that the guy is using protection and other people said how do you not know the difference i'm like i don't know the difference between protect when there's protection on and when there's not i really don't know apparently some girls know i'm not one of them scouts or not i was ovulating and so being having ingested space cookies just heightened the feeling that you get when you're ovulating that was like a uh, where was conceived and when I, how I found out that he didn't use a condom was afterwards he told me I needed to take the morning after pill so I was like sure I'm gonna do that and I was like you know what you could help me get it and bring it to my work early in the morning like maybe past one or two and it's so funny because I had no plans on continuing anything with him because he was telling me about he, how he broke up with his girlfriend and he, I was actually consoling him and telling him how to get back with her you know just to show you that I really didn't want anything from him <laughs> I did not like I was like oh sorry I hope you get back with her you know you know I was like thank you have a good night you know just kept it professional <laughs> not professional but you know clean no no drama i wasn't interested in any drama you know and he came i told him to come for a purpose and that was all i wanted something to note though during you know how guys would say some kind of things like oh my gosh i need i want you to have my baby and you think it's like you know just because it was nice it's sweet you know sweet sweet things that they're saying stuff like that but I did have a clue that why he was saying that he was actually, you know, he wasn't wearing protection and he actually meant to release <laughs> his little swimmers inside of me. I had no clue, but he did. And so that's where it comes to the whole thing like, as much as it's my responsibility if I don't want to have a baby to maybe get rid of it, you, at, at this point in time, you're the one that's really sincere to someone. If you do not want that person to have a baby, do not do that. Don't do that. If you're not willing to wear a condom, as you've been asked to, then it is your responsibility to pull out. Just pull out. So that you don't you don't want you don't want a child. Why are you doing this? And without my knowledge, because I didn't know the agreement was you're supposed to wear a condom, you did not. I didn't know so and so when after he told me he wasn't wearing it I, I asked him why why weren't you wearing any he was like he left it in the car or something or whatever I was like so why why is it in the car why didn't you bring it? when I finally found out I was pregnant I told my friend first she's a doctor her name's Chinasa then I told her that I think I am so she told me to go get tested I went to get tested I went to do and I did like STD um, tests as well and I was clear for the STDs so they congratulated me for being clear for the STDs and being pregnant <laughs> it was so, so funny so I told her and I told my mom immediately I tried to call him but he didn't pick up so um, I told my mom and told my family all my sisters he finally you know Called me back and I told him what was going on so he came to see me and he was asking you know what you want to do should we get married I was like I can't, I can't marry you I mean yes we dated in the past which was like three years ago but no I don't know you enough to marry you he's like yeah but that you know that's what normally we should do I'm like yeah but that's not the kind of person I am I don't believe I have to get married to someone just because I'm pregnant and then people are like, oh, so why didn't you get married to him? I'm like, because I didn't want to. And they're like, hey, but you, you felt he was good enough for you to have a baby for. I was like, I didn't have a baby for him. It's my child as well. I had a baby for me. Like, I'm carrying the baby. 
you know, I wanted a child. Why not? It's not the way I planned to have one. I, did, I wouldn't have planned to have one with him. I do it by myself. I would have planned to have it with a more responsible person or somewhere I would have had a discussion with. And then I would have had it with that person. But, you know, God did it this way. And I'm not the one to say no. I was 30. And I was like, you know, I can't get rid of a baby when I know I'm ready to have one. Maybe along the line I can't have one again. I'm gonna feel really terrible. So I just decided, you know, to keep my baby. Like it was nothing. I'd never even thought about getting rid of the baby. To be honest, it, it, the thought never crossed my mind. I was if anything, if I'm not meant to have this baby, then the baby's gonna go by itself. But I'm not gonna be the one to get rid of it. You know, I so I told him that, and he's like, you know, he's not ready. I said, well, nobody's ready, but you have to get ready. You know, that's how how it works. But he did not get ready until this day he's not really ready he does obviously take claim of his child he does try to help every now and then but you know he's not really doing what he should do but that's not the purpose of this video i told him you know if anything we need to observe ourselves and just you know see if it's something we can do and that's what i did all the while i was pregnant and i and then when i gave birth to my son from my observations, I was like, yeah, I'm not going to marry this guy. He did bring up marriage twice again after I gave birth. Just like in me, almost immediately after I gave birth, when he came with his mother to see Elroy. And again, um, not too long before I moved to Canada. A couple of months before I moved to Canada. So yeah. And the funny thing is, they knew I was planning to come to Canada from the very beginning because as soon as I had Elroy, I told them that this was my plan. And him and his mom were like, that would be great, you know, that would be great for the kid. And so, yeah. But I digress. So, yeah, he did bring up us getting married like two other times after that. But I told him the same thing. I've been observing you. I've been like, you're not doing anything to make me want to marry you. Even up to now, he's brought it up so many times about us getting married, about us having more children, and I'm just like, bro, what are you doing to make me feel like I should get married to you? Nothing. You are not doing anything. Like, you, he, he has this mentality of when we get married, things will be better, then he will sit up and act like he's supposed to. And I'm like, no, you're supposed to do that first so that I'm convinced that it's a good idea to marry you because if you don't do that first, I can never believe it's a good idea to marry you because whatever you feel you would do when we're married, you should start doing it now because, you know, you have a responsibility to your child, so it shouldn't be about whether I'm married to you or not, you know? That you shouldn't... <laughs> That shouldn't be your way of trying to persuade me to marry you. I'm not. I'm not stupid. I was about to say I'm not that stupid, but I'm not even stupid. <laughs> not about that. I'm not stupid. You know, it could work with another lady who feels the need to have that closure or to be in a relationship with your kid's father, your married to kid's father. I'm not one of those people. I don't hold that stigma on myself about being a single parent you know some people will, will hold that stigma on themselves and they will feel shame for having a kid out of wedlock and they will feel um judged or whatever but i don't because i don't care about all of that nonsense i'm not someone like if i don't feel judged no one can judge me that's the truth even if people are actually judging me because i don't feel judged your judgment can't affect me I, you know it to me it's not judgment like you can think whatever you want to think you can say whatever you want to say i made my decision i did what's good for me and my kid and i'm fine with it you know i don't feel you need to get married to your child's father just because of the stigma or whatever you have to be sure that that marriage will work or that both of you want it to work and that both of you are going to put in the effort if not you could just get into a life of bondage and i saw that coming and that's why i ran I didn't want that and I always tease him for trying to trap me with a kid and uh, he laughs we laugh about it. we're good friends Elroy's but... daddy this is the culprit wait so you want the whole world to know that yeah so that, that they see they can works. hold you <laughs> <laughs> they can hold you chatting I, it was acting drama. I yeah, had in your face. This is the culprit. My, my. This is the guy that tries to trap me with speaking. <laughs> <laughs> his face. Look at like, him. Yeah, marriage is not a do or die affair. 
and I wanted a child. My mom knew that. I told God when I was 28 that if, if by 30 I'm not married, I'm gonna have my own kid, have a child. And I told my mom this is what I told God. So my mom actually reminded me that this is what you said, you know. That's what you said. And I was like, yeah, that's true. But I wanted to like pick the father. But it didn't work out like that. And that's fine. I love my son. He's the cutest. You can see him. You saw him in the last video. And I love him. I just wish that he did have a good father figure in his life. I wish that his his father was more present in his life. And, you know, I wish, you like, when I see fathers with their kids being loving and taking part in their child's life, I wish my son had that. I do wish that, but I don't feel bad for my decision because I still feel it's the best thing I did. Because honestly, his dad is not the kind of person I want him to be. Not right now, you know. I want my son to be a feminist. I want him to love and respect himself and love and respect everyone around him. I want him to do unto others as he wants to be done to him. I want him to be empathetic and kind. As much as his dad is a nice person, we get along, he's someone I can be myself with, he's not he's just not the kind of man i want my son to be right now and no offense if you watch this but i've told him many times it's not going to be a surprise to him you know it's not you know and and that's it's not like it's just him it's, it's the way the average nigerian man is you know i i don't want my son to be like the average nigerian man i don't want him to have those backward traditional ideologies that are conditioned from religion and culture. I don't want that. So I'm happy I'm raising him here and I want him to have a more liberal, open mind. I want him to be a Christian, obviously. I want him to believe in God, but I want him to really love himself so that he can be able to love others as much as he loves himself and be very empathetic and be kind and just be considerate of people and understanding of people's feelings and try to put himself in people's shoes you know and understand where how what his actions could affect someone you know and just try to be a good person generally mm -hmm. really someone who respects women and doesn't think women are out here to be his slave <laughs> or to serve him or to perform for him so yeah, a feminist. I want my son to be a feminist. And because his dad is not that, I don't want him to 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 be around him too much. I feel like I don't want him to be around him. I don't know I, I don't know how to say this. But I just don't want him to be influenced by him in that way. But then at the same time I want him to have that love from a father. I want him to have that relationship. I mean, I don't think he's missing out on anything per se because he doesn't even know that he's missing out or he doesn't know. I'm sure he sees other kids with their dads, but he, he doesn't know what he it is he's missing because he's, it's not like he's had it before and it was taken away from him. He's just had me this whole time and my mom. And so that's all he knows. So he doesn't know that he, if he's missing out on anything or not. And those if you have any questions or any comments please leave them if you want a follow-up story let me know exactly what you want to hear and um hopefully my next video will be more interesting i'm gonna maybe post something about my travel the last trip i went to was to cuba i'll probably post something about that hopefully or something more interesting but thank you Bye. Let me get rid of this congested note.